How to say I love you in Irish. Want to impress your new Irish sweetheart? Looking for love on the Emerald Isle? There are several different ways to say I love you in the Irish language, also sometimes called Gaelic, though the distinction is complicated. If you're an English speaker, the most important thing to remember is that Irish letters often aren't pronounced the same way as in English. If you keep this in mind, learning this phrase, and a few other useful ones, is easy. Method 1 Learning a Basic I Love You 1. Say Ta This word means there or yes. It is pronounced ta. It rhymes with the English word ra. 2. Say gra. This word means love. It is pronounced gra. It also rhymes with the English word ra. This word is sometimes spelled gra, but the pronunciation is the same. 3. Say agam. This word means I. It is pronounced uh, gum. The first syllable uses a vowel sound that's a little like a combination of the long in ra and the short u in hug. The second syllable sounds very similar to the English word gum. Be sure to put the stress on the first syllable here. The word is pronounced uh, gum, not a, gum. Reversing the stresses will make it hard for others to understand you. This would be like pronouncing the English word aided as I, D-U-D -D, rather than A-Y, Dud. This word can sometimes be spelled again, which can be confusing because of the English word spelled the same way. However, the pronunciation is never the same. 4. Say dut. This means you. It is pronounced similarly to the English word ditch. Use a short I sound, as in hit, and a ch sound, as in cheese, at the end of the word. Depending on the region of Ireland, this word can also sometimes be pronounced as dit. Some speakers even add a w sound for a pronunciation that resembles dwitch. 5. Put it all together. Once you've mastered the pronunciation for each word in the phrase, just say them in order to get I love you. Ta gra agam dit is pronounced, roughly, ta gra uh, gum ditch. Though this phrase literally means, their love I you, Irish speakers will understand it as I love you. However, this isn't always the most common way that this is said in Ireland. In the section below, you'll learn a few more ways to say that you love someone. Depending on the region, one of these may be the normal way to say it. Method 2 Learning Alternate I Love You Phrases 1. Use M-O-G-R-A Thursday This is roughly pronounced mo gra hu The first word rhymes with low. Don't be fooled by the th in the last word, Thursday should sound like the noise an L makes. Some regional accents pronounce it a little more like huh, but the important point is that you should use an h sound for the word. Literally, this means my love you, but the meaning is essentially I love you. 2. Try Graham Thursday This is pronounced G-R-A-H, im who. Notice that the first word is actually two syllables even though it looks like it might be just one. Also note that the first syllable is stressed, rather than the second. This is a shorter, easier version of the phrase above. The meaning is more or less the same. 3. Say is bra lion 2. This is pronounced iss bra lum 2. Use a hard s sound, as in sass, for the first word. It should not sound like the English word is. Note that brea rhymes with ra and that the second word rhymes with strum regardless of how they look like they would be pronounced in English. 4. Alternatively, uses Aoabin Liam 2. This phrase should sound like ISS even Lum 2. Notice that the only word that is different between this phrase and the one above is Aoabin. Despite how it looks, this word is pronounced almost exactly like the English word even. 
The rest of the words are pronounced the same way as in the step above. While the phrase above means I love you, the literal meaning here is closer to you delight me. The meaning is less romantic and more affectionate. You can also use this phrase for objects, see below. Method 3 Learning Related Phrases 1. If you are madly in love with someone, say ta emo, croyas di, ionat. The pronunciation here is ta mo, keri iss, t on, ud. Literally, this means my heart is in in you, but the actual meaning is similar to you are very dear to my heart. There are two difficult pronunciations here. Croy is probably the hardest word to pronounce. You want to use a guttural H, CH sound from your throat that doesn't exist in English. It's basically the same sound used in a few common Hebrew words, like Hanukkah. Istai sounds roughly like ISS, T or Ish, Tig, depending on the regional accent. Use a hard S, as in SAS, or an SH sound, as in shoot, not a soft S, Z sound, as in glaze. 2. To call someone darling, say mo chuile. This is pronounced mo ke hush, le. Mo is easy, it rhymes with blow. Chuile is a little harder. You need to use a guttural h, ch sound, as in Hanukkah, to start the word. The ush part rhymes with push. The lu at the end uses the shorty sound, as in red. Literally, this means my pulse. It's a common expression, taken from the original phrase a chulmo croy, pulse of my heart. 3. To call someone your chosen one, say is tu mo roga. This is pronounced iss tu mo rao, uh. Roga is the most difficult word here. The first syllable rhymes with plow, not blow. The gh combination makes a w sound, as in wet. Note also that is is pronounced with a hard s sound as mentioned above. Literally, roga means choice or favorite. It can also mean flower, which gives this phrase a flattering double meaning. 4. If you love an idea or object, say is aoabin liam underscore 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 underscore. This phrase is pronounced iss even lum underscore 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 underscore, where the blank is the object or idea that you love. This phrase is used for when you love something, but you're not romantically in love with it. For example, if you really like your grandmother's pasta, you might say is aoabin liam pasta. Note that this phrase is identical to is aoabin liam too from the section above except that you're substituting a different word for too. You. Tips Listening along to native speakers online can be a major help when mastering the pronunciation of difficult Irish words. One great site for this is Forvo, which compiles clips of words and phrases being pronounced in many languages from around the globe. This article is for the Irish Gaelic language, the native Celtic language of Ireland. The term Gaelic on its own can be confusing, as it can also refer to the Scottish Gaelic language. If someone asks you to say, I love you in Gaelic, make sure you know which one is being referred to.